Just recently here on the Fox 61 Morning News, I did a two-part story about a new way to understand and treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD, without using medication. If you missed it, you can get it online at fox61.com and on my Facebook page. But what that didn't cover was a much more fundamental question. Are we over-diagnosing and therefore over-medicating kids with ADHD who may not have ADHD? Joining me right now is Kristen Will. Wilson. She's from Newport Academy. That's an addiction treatment facility here in Connecticut. They also have a day conference coming up next Thursday that you might want to know about. A pleasure to meet you. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, today. glad to have you here. I'm curious what to see. There is, I don't have any studies necessarily that I, that, that I can cite, but I have seen from a number of areas in this field a lot of people very worried that there is just an epidemic of over. Uh, diagnosis of ADHD. What, what is your take on that? Absolutely. We're not questioning the validity of the diagnosis. We know it's a real thing. Yes. What we are questioning is how many kids, young um, adolescents through young adults, who are coming into high school and into college with the diagnosis of ADHD and an attached psychostimulant. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're seeing is, is that in reality, 5% of the population probably has ADHD. Yeah. We're seeing 10% being okay. diagnosed and then subsequently medicated. Mm -hmm. The issues with the medication are sort of like an onion effect. So it becomes layers where a child learns that a pill fixes their behaviors. And what does that have ramifications for in the lifespan as well as the um, medications are stimulants. So they're a controlled substance and they are addictive in yeah. their behaviors. So it can form patterns that are a little concerning. And even in situations where it helps uh, damper the uh, ADHD uh, behaviors, it still winds up taking some of the edge off, for lack of a better word, for a lot of these kids. So they're missing a little part of their personality. What makes them them? Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, what are some of the alternatives there? At least, what do you offer at Newport Academy? Sure. So we offer holistic treatment. And what that means is we're looking at our, our teens from an individual perspective, mind, body, spirit as well as incorporating their family in that process. Yeah. We find that sustainable healing is viable for our kids. If we intervene early, if we address the underlying trauma and attachment wounds that are often associated with feelings of depression or anxiety that can manifest mm -hmm. as behaviors of ADHD, yeah. um, and then continuing building resiliency skills, helping them create authentic connections with themselves, what do they love, how do they bring their authentic self to a peer group and find peers that are positive, Mm -hmm. And then how do we create authenticity in the family systems? Uh, interesting. Also, uh, I did a story on a clinic in Middletown. They also offer parent treatment. It's, it's the idea that it can affect the entire family, so Absolutely. the whole family has to be part of the solution. Yeah, we want to better the system, so when the child returns home, the system's in a better place. Yeah. All right, so what's happening at this day conference that's happening next Thursday? So we have a great panel of speakers, experts in the field. Um, Alan Schwartz, who was mm -hmm. a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist from the New York Times, left the Times and went and wrote his own book called ADHD Nation. So he will be speaking exactly to this. Yeah. Um, we also have some experts from Newport Academy in different fields of study presenting on everything from nutrition, the meal as medicine, which is a unique take on using food mm -hmm. to um, not only self-care, but to care for others, yeah. um, creative arts, um, mm -hmm. activities like yoga, meditation, music therapy, um, how to engage a resistant teenager in even coming into treatment. <laughs> and then how do you get the family on board? Yes. <laughs> that is step one right there. Absolutely. And, uh, this is, again, going to be happening next Thursday. That's November 9th from uh, 7.15 a.m. to 4 p.m. at, uh, you see it right down there on your screen. It's happening at uh, UConn in Stamford uh, down there by the shoreline. And again, that's being hosted by uh, Newport Academy. Thank you so much for Thank being here. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Christian. Take good care. A pleasure to have you on there. I know we could talk for all just the rest of the morning about this, but uh, get down to the conference if it's something that interests you.